strong in the Lord and never give up hope. You're gonna do great things, I already know. God's got his hand on you, so don't live life in fear. Forgive and forget, but don't forget. Thank you for tuning in. Um, today I want to talk about something that the Lord laid on my heart. You know, He spoke something to me, and uh, I'm going to tell you what He spoke to me, and then I'm going to explain. Instantly, I knew in my spirit when He spoke these words to me what exactly He was talking about. And uh, I want to take a minute on this, or take some time here, just to issue what I believe God would want me to say in this video. He said to me that the Bible clingers are dying. That's all he said. Bible clingers are dying. But any genuine born-again believer knows that when God speaks something to your spirit, it's instant in your spirit. It confirms and you know what he's talking about. And what I'm talking about, what I want to talk about today is the Bible clingers are dying. Now, I'm going to define Bible clinger for people who don't know. These are the religious church system people who think that the, their Bibles are going to get them through hard times. And we all hear, I mean, we hear people say it all the time, especially on YouTube, that, you know, when times get hard, I'm going to go to the Word. When times get hard, I'm going to read my Bible. You know, and, and people ask you, how you doing? Well, I'm going through a trial. I'm having a hard time. Well, are you reading your Bible? That's a Bible clinger. Bible clingers are the ones that continue to quote scripture and quote scripture and quote scripture. Them are Bible clingers. The ones that want to have a religion, they want to come from a religious side and argue with you um, by using the Bible. This is the Word of God. That's a Bible clinger, and they're dying. Number one, the, 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 the Bible is not the Word of God. Jesus Christ is the Word of God, He is the Logos Word. Now, do I believe that we should look at the Bible and study it and read it? Absolutely, it is the Remo word, but it is not number one. To Bible clingers, the Bible is number one. To Bible clingers, the, the you know everything is to read the Bible. Everything is, are you reading your Bible? Oh, I've got to get into my Bible. I'm having a hard time. I'm going through a trial or I'm going under attack. I must read my Bible. Jesus himself said that you search the scriptures and you're looking for life, but you won't come to me who can give you life. Jesus Christ, through the Logos, the Logos word, Jesus Christ, through the Spirit, is number one. The Bible is number two. The, word, the scripture is, is about God. The scripture is about history. The scripture is things that the Lord wants us to know, but number one, Jesus Christ is who we need to know. Do you stand continuing and 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 walking with with Christ Jesus today? You know, he said to me, he said the Bible clingers are dying and and here's what's going on. There's a phase going through right now, I believe. There's a time that we're going right now where the religious Bible clingers are spiritually dying. They're dying, their spiritual death, because the Bible in itself has no source of life. The source of life comes from Christ Jesus Himself. We have choppers flying over, so if you uh, you just <laughs> stand by, that's well, actually, it's not a chopper, that's a plane. But we have an airport near here, so we get that quite frequently. But the source of life is Jesus Christ Himself not the Bible but I've I've learned in and through through prayer the Lord has showed me that Bible clingers are so much on the Bible because they do not have the source of life they lack the intimacy with Jesus Christ they don't hear the logos word so all they have is the Rima word modern-day Pharisees when he spoke, I am who I am, they denied him and they rejected him and they crucified him. 
because he didn't line up with their Bible. This is a warning to Bible clingers. This is a warning to the religious that are wrapped up in the Bible. There is something outside of the Bible. There is someone outside of the Bible that is the source of life. And his name is Jesus. Cling to him. Let's be Jesus clingers. Not Bible clingers. Because the Bible clingers are dying. They are dying a spiritual death as we speak. I believe the Lord doesn't just tell us stuff just to tell us. He has a purpose in everything He does. And I believe the time is coming and the time is now where the people that cling to the Bible and hang on religiously to their Bibles are going to die. They're dying spiritual deaths. And these Bible clingers are mostly found within the church system. The Bible is not the Word of God. Jesus is the Word of God. He is the Logos Word. And if you don't hear his lo- the Logos Word speak unto your spirit, and all you have is the Rema Word, then friend, you're in danger of hellfire. Friend, you're in danger of, of burning. Because He says... They will come to me in that day and they will say, Lord, Lord, I did this and did this. And I'm sure there there are many in the church system that will come to him in that day and they will say, Lord, I read your word. Lord, I stood on your word. Lord, I I, I absorbed your word. And he's going to say, depart from me. I never knew you. Let's get outside of the Bible. There's more to Jesus than the Bible. There's Jesus himself. The Bible clingers are on life support. So if you're a Bible clinger, seek Him. And if it be His will, He will lift the blinders off your eyes for you to see. Till next time, to the genuine born-again believers in Jesus Christ. God bless. But don't